Omarosa says, I'm gonna treat this situation just like your book. I'm not buying it. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came, and I came to, read. to read. I hope that you guys are always going to ForTheCulturePodcast.com to get your life and listen to the new episodes that we put out every Tuesday. We had a couple of guests on our most recent one, so go ahead and check that out. Also, Patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. Uh, the girls over there, the girls who signed up for that, got this video first and the rest of these videos, girls. So get your ass in line. I first wanted to start off with the fact that I just saw, I just heard this. Kim Possible is supposedly getting a fucking live action movie. You guys cannot fuck this up for me. Okay, because Kim Possible was something that just revitalized my gay. Do you see what I'm saying? It breathed new life into my homosexuality. When I saw Kim Possible, she dun 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 bitch, what's the goddamn, what's the goddamn sitch? What, hello? What's the sitch, Wade? Yeah, bitch, what's the tea, bitch? She goes coming after my ass, bitch? Dr. Dragon's coming. Dr. Dragon is coming, sis, and it's gonna be live action, and so I, I, I cannot fucking wait. Now, what I do not want Disney ass to do is uh, give me the Selena Gomez treatment, and what I mean by that is I don't want no teeny bopper, toddler, built-ass bitch with no acting skills, you know, over here being Kim Possible, and also, Shigo, Shigo needs to be a, a very bad type of bitch, you see what I'm saying? So it can't be a mediocre, lackluster, no acting skills having bitch. You see what I'm saying? Please don't do me wrong with this. I'm going to need Kim Possible to reach in and snatch my whole spirit just like Ron had to go ahead and deal with his monkey spirit issues and shit, girl. I want everything I want. So I wanted to give me so the drama type of tease. What's the cinch? Where the fuck is Bonnie ass? You know, where's Wade ass? Someone said they want Michael B. Jordan to be Wade. I say yes, ma'am. I'm feeling it. Kim Possible. Now, if you guys don't know, the shows that I keep up with on like primetime TV, I guess you could call it Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder Night, when one is up there, Black Lightning give me like so you know la last night I was watching how to get away with murder and, and scandal and I said girl you know what sis March 1st is coming Annalise and Olivia are gonna be in the same place I think uh, Annalise needs some help with her class action suit and she uh, she can potentially skip straight to Supreme Court with Olivia's help and Olivia is definitely gonna need a lawyer after this bullshit she tried to pull so so I cannot fucking wait and seeing them just seeing Olivia walk in that room and write how to survive a scandal on that chalkboard and Annalise is just sitting up there you know we're a little person shit looking so cute. I said, I I don't think I'm mentally able or ready for this shit to even happen. And it makes total sense not only plot wise, but also character development wise, because here we have both Annalise and Olivia at Crossroads. You know, Annalise was trying to get help and discover what the fuck was wrong with her, um, going to therapy and stuff. Olivia needs to take responsibility for her actions, so I cannot wait to see these two powerful black ass characters snatch me from my goddamn roots, snatch my phone. So there's some more news on Black Panther now. Um, I think I already did cover this and I told you guys that Justin and I will be traveling to New York next week in order to record with the Grapevine TV. We're going to get our fucking live. So oh, I'm not sure when exactly I'll be able to see the movie, but I know it will be happening. Either way, sis, these white people are over here angry, just like this. Just like this. Watch this. You mean to tell me black people are actually out here good at something? Who put these black people on the stage? Who put this nigger on the stage? When black movies do well, when Oh, you know, they told us to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. We finally learn what a boot is. We get the blueprints for the boot. We build the boot and then we build the straps on our own. We pull ourselves up by the bootstraps and then they try to sabotage that shit. They've been creating posters like this, trying to say that this movie's racist, purposely giving it just one star ratings, just to, you know, just to be assholes like racist people usually are. And every time someone says that the race of a cast does not matter and we need to stop making a big deal out of it, I'm going to use this as an example. If the race of a cast does not matter, then if a whole black ass cast gets their ass up on there, it should not be. A, it should not send the you know whole racist white community into a frenzy. Girl, I thought you said you didn't see color. <laughs> I thought you said race didn't matter. I thought you said, you know, race is not a big deal. But y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know y'all see color. Y'all know y'all love to see color because it's something that protects the fuck out of you. Enemies don't react or overreact like this to something that is not a threat or something that they view as, girl, oh, that's fine. Nothing's... Girl, obviously we're shaking the fucking industry up and they know that shit. I mean, every time we put out a black ass movie, it just breaks records and shit. Maybe we should, art... Maybe we should start listening to minority people when they speak. Hmm. My gay ass is not into sports but I'm happy that y'all are happy that the Winter Olympics started, okay? Uh, Woohoo, a bunch of bitches are out here throwing snowballs at each other. Uh, skip to my little my darling, uh, yippity you da bitch, yippity yay ho. Uh, I'm so excited. We get to see a bunch of bitches skate around on frozen water. 
I'm so happy. I'm just, I just, it's the same amount of happiness I got when I watched the Super Bowl and I got to see a bunch of boring ass bitches throw around a brown ass ball for fucking, you know, two, three, four, five hours. So thrilled, okay? But what was interesting uh, was the opening ceremony and I saw a lot of lights and colors and shit. It was cute. They had the cute ass drones up here making uh, symbols and art in the goddamn sky. These hoes said it was 1,200 drones that were used. Uh, very colorful, very technologically advanced. Leave it up to uh, South Korea to do that shit. What was also interesting were the Kim Jong-un and the fucking Donald Trump lookalikes. I thought that bitch, they had to be escorted out. They were causing too much of a disturbance, girl. They said, girl, you, you hoes got to go. They kicked their ass out, but it was interesting. I think Mike Pence and Kim Jong-un's sister was there at the ceremony and shit. So yeah, woohoo, uh, go team. I'm, I hope you bitches win something. The only sport that I like to participate in is running from my bed to my fridge and running right back again. And since we're talking about Trump impersonators, you know, frauds, since we're talking about frauds, let's turn our eyes to Mr. Trump. You know shit is really bad when George W. Bush is out here sounding like he has, he's, he has some goddamn sense. He's making some sense. You know, he spoke out against Trump's stupid ass immigration stance and policies. And he's like, girl, these people are a necessary part of our society. America has been home to some of these people for a long time. And so I just thought it was a sign of the times to see George W. Bush out here making goddamn sense. And speaking of shit being a sign of the times, I think it definitely is a sign of the times that we have Omarosa out here trying to double, double, toil and trouble our ass like she's some type of witch. Is she trying to cast a spell on our ass like we can't decipher the truth? Does she really think that she's somebody's fairy godmother? Or is she trying to serve us hocus pocus teas? Does she really think that we forgot about all of those months of stupidity that we had to endure? The gas Gasoline of mediocrity was just scattered all across the White House and she was the flame that lit it up in new and extra dimensional ways that I thought were not possible. Omarosa was out here defending his ass to the point where I thought, was he supposed to be somebody's, you know, Senator Palpatine? It seemed like you wanted everybody to bow down to his ass like we're going to take the empire, bitch? What is going on? And I know a new Star Wars is coming out, sis, but your Chewbacca built ass was serving me revenge of the Sith type of tease, dark side type of tease, girl. You, you don't get to take your ass on to Big Brother and cry to Ross ass, who is being very generous to your ass, or at least trying to, because I saw him rolling his eyes. I mean, he was asking you, well, girl, should we be worried? And she, oh, we should be very worried. It's, oh my God, she's just crying and shit, like I'm supposed to give a fuck. It's bad. It's bad. Should we be worried? Girl, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, get the fuck up out of here with these fake ass tears. Go on, so, girl, if you don't move somewhere with this leaning back ass hairline, Omarosa, if you don't sit your wannabe rubber band shape ass, rubber band man shape ass down somewhere. I know that you have to sell a book. I mean, let's talk to Simone Sanders, girl. Uh, Simone Sanders, what do you have to say on this? Don Lemon, I, I think you have something to say on this too. Move on now, and I want to talk about the former White House aide, Omarosa. Manigo, Manigault, uh, new. <laughs> it's Black History Month. We gotta talk about our world. <laughs> All right. As you can see, the white man on the left, Don Lemon and Simone Sanders, none of us trust your ass at this point. None of us, okay? So I'm hoping that you can take your ass on over to the unemployment line that uh, your party hates so much. You know, after this crashes and burns, because obviously this is not going to be sustainable, girl. This is one paycheck. I'm sure your ass is not getting no royalties from this shit being played back over and over. I, girl, so once this shit is over and crashes and burns, I hope that you can whip out that resume and... You know, blow the dust up that whole. Put this shit back in circulation. I don't know if you need to contact Monster.com or Indeed or some shit. Whatever you have to do, girl, just do it. Hopefully, you can take a clerical job, a secretary job, something that I don't have to see your crying face across any of my screens ever a goddamn again. Oh, Morosa, you really tried it. You won't be getting any sympathy from me around here. Talking about never in a million years would you vote for Donald Trump again, girl, when you were just a couple months ago in his motherfucking office. You you wouldn't have said shit if he didn't kick your ass to the like the whimpering puppy 
you that your career is built like. You can kiss my ass. You can kiss my ass. It wasn't your calling to join the administration. It was your calling to speak up against that shit as a whole ass black woman. It was. Uh, but you dropped the ball, sis, and they dropped a pink slip on your ass. The door! So this I thought was really interesting. Gather around, girlies. White House officials knew about the domestic abuse allegations levied against top White House staffer Rob Porter and scrambled to protect him. Multiple sources tell CNN. And now this was a woman who, you know, this was his previous ex. -woman. Now there, I think there are two people, and there are more. There are other people, but there are uh, two people in particular who are coming out with allegations against Mr. Rob Porter. And it's interesting because his career probably is going to last just about as long as Travis Porter's career did. That <laughs> now it's just. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I had to make that connection. So yeah, I think this was his first ex-wife. This picture was taken in 2005 and just said, hey girl, this is the type of shit that he's into. He's into abusing a woman. And a lot of people just like, girl, why didn't more people come out? Girl, why didn't more people come out? His most recent ex-wife was just like, girl, I told the FBI, I told the White House, I told everybody about this shit. And they, they did nothing. They acted like he was just, you know, it was just a normal day in the park, girl. You know, she said they knew all that information, yet and still, she saw him, his ass just getting promoted, ascending in the ranks and shit. It's just like, this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the fact that we live in a society that makes it easy for men to be abusers and then also get away with abuse. This is what we're talking about. We have whole systems set up to protect these men. The White House protected his ass, even though they knew this was obviously a really fucked up ass issue and the ex-wife said, he come comes off that way in a professional setting and that's what a lot of these abusers do. They come off charming, sweet, and nice in professional settings or settings where they feel they have to impress somebody or put on a show. But usually that show is to discredit the story of somebody else. You, with abusers, they put on a good-ass show so that you, as the person who's getting abused, you start to feel like you're crazy. Oh my gosh, everybody else loves him, but he's abusive to me. Maybe it's just me. The fact that this person is just an upstanding-ass worker and career man, it takes away from the credibility of your story. So it's just, it, these people know what they're doing. It's really disgusting the fact that you know FBI denied this man his fucking clearance and the White House still went along because they knew what the fuck he was up to they knew what the tea was and the White House still went along with this shit like well girl we're just gonna ignore the fact that you don't have clearance whatsoever and we're gonna still put you in these positions and we're gonna continue to have your ass in important ass areas of this administration and it really sucks because he that means he had access to information that was classified it's all over the fucking place and as I said with Russia already taking aim at our elections this is not the time to lollygag this is not the time to play around I'm hoping that the people who have you know been elected to these positions will finally get up off their asses and hold their fucking colleagues accountable. This is unacceptable. We are paying y'all to do a job and y'all are getting, you know, royally screwed by Russia. You know that you are and y'all are talking about, oh, y'all hands are tied. No, bitch, a lot more shit's gonna be tied the fuck up if these legislators don't get to fucking work. The room of people who would be worse presidents than Donald Trump is kind of like Sears. Just because it's big doesn't mean that there's anybody in it. Have a good goddamn evening.